Hi, my name is Muhammad Tariq, and in this lecture, we will see the formation of binary search tree. We will create the binary search tree, and we will see how this can be created using the tool created by Jacob Melinzek. This is a very handy tool, and it it helps us to understand how a binary search tree can be formed, and uh, how can we how can we visualize the formation of binary search tree. So when we write the code. it will help help us in writing the code if you have this visualization in mind you will better write the you will write the code easily and with better understanding uh so in this lecture we will focus on on only the creation of binary search tree there are some other functions like delete function uh, find function uh, traversal functions pre order post order in order but we will not focus on those functions right now we will be only focusing on the creation of binary search tree so let's start creating this tree i have some numbers with me so i will start with the root node and then we will proceed so the first number i'll insert is 100 right and this is a button using which i can insert the uh, the 100 the root node and this will be displayed in this section so i have inserted the first node and this is the root node now now i'm uh, so i i i'm hoping that you have the binary search tree rules in your mind so let me re review the rule is uh, on the left hand side if we have a root node the left child will be lesser than the root or this parent and the right child will be greater than its parent right so this is the rule now the second number we have is 150 so according to the rule where the 150 would go so it should go on the right hand side because 150 is greater than 100 so the 150 is greater than 100 it goes to the right hand side now the next uh, number we have let's say we are we want to insert 200 so where it would go it's greater than 100 it's greater than 200 or uh, 150 also so the 200 would be here on the right hand side of 150 right so here is to is greater than 150 and this is the correct location of binary uh, of the node 200 now let's insert 50 so where the 50 would go it would it should go on the left hand side because it's lesser than the root node so 50 and this is the correct location now we have 120 let's insert 120 so where should it go it's greater than 100 but it's less than 150 so the correct location is the left child of 150 now we have 52 so, okay where it would go it's less than 100 is greater than 50 so it's the left hand child sorry the right hand child of node number 50 now the next number we have 45 so i have some random random, random numbers and i am just putting some random random numbers to make you understand how the tree is forming now the next number we have is 46 so 46 is less than 50 is less than 45 so here it goes now we have 125 so 125 is greater than this is less than this is greater than this and this is the correct location now we have 130 130 where 130 would go greater than less than 150 greater than 120 greater than 125 and this is the correct location and now let's we have 150 110 uh, 110 greater than 100 uh, sorry yes so here is the correct location greater than 100 greater than 100 less than 150 less than 120 so this is the correct location and let's input a last number which is 40 so it would where would it go L greater than a uh, less than less than less than so this is the correct location so this is how the binary search tree can be formed and i hope this formation will help you in understanding the code when we'll write the code keep this visualization in mind keep this structure uh, and the formation structure in mind and then we can then uh, we can uh, write the code and when we will write the code 
you can better understand the flow of the code. I hope this will be helpful for you and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.